Šanovni pane Mustafa, šanovni pane posli, parlamentary colleagues, Duroha Kromado, ladies and gentlemen. Crimea is a magically seductive land with mountainous, semi-tropical sea coasts, inland steppes, and it's also the ancestral homeland of the Crimean Tatars. And it's important to stress that point because there's a false narrative that the Kremlin propaganda machine is putting out saying that Crimea is historically Russian land. It's false. In fact, in the 13th century, we saw the very first Crimean Tatar state. And it preceded the establishment of the Principality of Moscovy, the founding state on which Russia began. And it was 1,300 kilometers away. And it wasn't until 1783 that the Russian occupations began of Crimea and the tragic history of the Crimean Tatars began. Sequential ethnic cleansings, which culminated under Stalin in 1944, with the ethnic cleansing of over 240,000, the entire population of Crimean Tatars, and the death of about 100,000 of those Crimean Tatars who were deported to Central Asia. I remember years ago, Ben and Mustafa, we were sitting in the Mijilis. And it was a time that the Ukrainian government uh, had relegated Crimean Tatars to benign neglect. But there was so much hope for the future, for the next generation of Crimean children who, unlike Mr. Mustafa, who had six months along with his family, was deported and then for demanding the right of return for his generation to Crimea, spent 18 years in the Gulag. There was hope for a very different future where Crimean language, the Crimean Tatar uh, uh, culture would be respected. Two years ago, Europe witnessed something that we haven't seen since the 1930s. The military invasion and annexation of a territory of a neighboring country on the false pretext of ethnic grievances. And the ethno-cultural religious group who has suffered the most during these two years of Russian occupation have been the Crimean Tatars. Several weeks ago, the Russian judiciary criminalized, in law, criminalized the Mijilis. Fourteen Crimean Tatar leaders have been arrested in the last two weeks. And today I had the honor of standing up in the House of Commons welcoming Mr. Jamiliev to Ottawa on this tragic anniversary. And it's not just all of you who are standing in solidarity. And it's not just Ukrainian Canadians, Turkish Canadians. In fact, members of Parliament of all parties all got up to applaud Mr. Jamiliev. We were showing our solidarity with the Crimean Tatar people. Slava Krimskim Tatarum.